Hi, my name is Carlos and I work in uh, data science and um, I've always enjoyed sports all my life. I've started running seriously only last year in July. I recently had a surgery for a torn meniscus and I noticed that my overall fitness level was quite low after that and then I decided to go, go all out and signed up for a marathon. I like to set a high goal that I think I maybe wouldn't achieve. So this was like maybe one of those. So my longest run has been 33 kilometers during training. It wasn't that difficult, but it just gets really uncomfortable at some point. And so it's like, it becomes like a mental <laughs> battle after those few hours. Beforehand, I was like, I had a higher blood pressure as well. And I was feeling like out of shape. So this was like, first physical and then mentally I started feeling better about myself, starting to enjoy running more and then it became like a rolling snowball effect. For uh, marathon training it was the thought that it's only going to be more difficult, <laughs> so if I, if I stop now then what's the point? I just thought that this was something I wanted to do for a long time and since at the start it was easy but in the middle part it was getting harder and harder and I kept thinking like um, I've gotten this far, so I don't want to be all, all for nothing. So I just kept pushing forward. Mostly it's about how I'm running. I did a lot of research on how to per try to at least perfect your running form, how to do it correctly, because it's not something that you would think about once you do it and just you think it's running and that's it. But uh, there's a lot more to it, like breathing and uh, like how your foot hits the ground or stuff like that. I really enjoy listening to podcasts, so one of them is Stuff You Should Know. It's like two guys with a, sen with a good sense of humor that talk about everyday items that you maybe don't pay attention to, but are sometimes just think in the back of your head, wow, how, how, how does that work? I'm already looking forward to other things I've set my mind to. For example, I really want to learn swimming. So after the marathon, I'm just going to take a break and then focus on that. And there's also other types of events that uh, concern running, like student books. It's trail running, something a bit different, but I think I'll quite love it as well.